Oke, okay, kembali lagi bersama saya di Akilas Gaming Dan kali ini kita akan lanjutkan lagi uh, Pertandingannya ya Di FIFA World Cup Di match kedua antara Argentina melawan Meksiko Nah, sebelum itu kita akan lihat dulu untuk uh, Pertandingan yang sebelumnya ya Di grup stage Di sini, di grup C Kita memimpin sementara Untuk skor, untuk uh, perolehan poinnya ya tiga poin dengan jumlah gol 4 gol lalu kemudian disusul oleh Polandia kemudian ketika Meksiko dan gol 4 ada Saudi Arabia dan sekarang kita akan lanjutkan lagi pertandingannya antara Meksiko melawan eh, Argentina melawan Meksiko oke okay. channel setting kita akan berubah dan nah, setiap kita next match di sini <tuh> nah, di sini saya sudah ya, menyesuaikan stadionnya dengan stadion yang ada di Uh, World Cup yang asli jadi stadiumnya adalah Education City Stadium yang menjadi venue untuk pertandingan kali ini ya di sini saya akan ini kita dulu, dulu ya nah di sini saya akan ngecek dulu di sini Otamendi terlihat tidak semangat jadi kita ganti dengan John Void sedangkan Paco Gomez dan sekali dia cedera McAllister kemudian kita panggil aja dengan si Timaria ya di sini ada John Korea Lautar Martinez dan Rodrigo De Paul. Rodrigo De Paul, kamu saya ingin coba mainkan. Oke, di sini tidak ada. Gimana gitu? Julian Alvarez. Nah, Julian Alvarez kemungkinan kita akan coba debutkan ya. Eh untuk menggantikan si Dybala sepertinya ya. Oke. Lalu kemudian si Gimantia ganti Nathan Molina, Arsenal Mero Martinez kita akan berubah dan Fernandez ini mungkin kita akan tiga nomor tiga di bawah oke okay. jadi seperti ini aja dulu untuk formasinya sementara dan langsung saja tanpa babi ibu kita langsung kick off dan mohon maaf saya lagi kurang enak badan maksudnya kurang enak di tenggorokan jadi untuk komentatornya menggunakan komentator asli dari pastor guru bersatu And now here comes the response. Argentina are a team on a mission. Maximum points, and they're on to bigger and better things. Well, if they can't find the motivation required for this, they might as well pack it in, Peter. This is the type of defining game that can propel the status of the whole club into the kind of territory where it needs to, to take its game. While individual careers may be helped with good performances, this has to be about the collective. If that remains strong, everything else should fall nicely into place.
So off we go then. So Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, I'm not sure that words can do this fella justice, Peter. Lionel Messi is one of the the old and Fernandez. Goal, Argentina. Listen, it's a great start, but we've seen teams surprise themselves with early goals before and sit back. They've got to avoid that. Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things. Just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. Argentina have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? Well, look, you've got to start your qualification process at some stage, Peter, and, and that goal is takeoff for them. This could fall anywhere. There's a beautiful simplicity about this contest. Willing running on one side, dogged defence on the other. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Fernandez, and it's Messi. Messi moves it wide. And here's Fernandez. Can he finish? It's in! A quite incredible spell. They are flying. Yeah, the pass was bang on, and he just had to ensure he didn't stray offside. The finish was actually bang on, too. So that's two now without reply. That second goal is such a, a polarizing effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Herrera just broke. He's come loose. And it's been taken straight back. Now it's Messi. And here's the chance to counter. You know, it was an intervention that had to be made. Serious trouble lay in store. Now it's Correa. Corona gets a foot in here. Mexico have a free kick. Mexico too love to play with a bit of width, Jim. Yeah, and just notice the way when they ping it out wide, the prompt for those in central midfield to make their forward runs, and they're looking to get on the end of whatever arrives. And it's Messi. Messi, nice great hit! Butter. They have done it again. Perfect placement. The one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out. Never mind one. It was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. Argentina take a three-goal lead and they are romping out of sight. Move forward and quickly so. Correa chance he has done it and they're at it again in double quick time and that is about as cool as they come he picked his spot expertly now that's what i call finishing right in the corner he knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up that's a cracking goal it's become a case of men against boys well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt we'll be looking to, to cause even more damage here. Acuna. And we hit half-time. Well, that flew by. It was breathless stuff. It's been one-way traffic here after the first 45 minutes. A relentless barrage that looks set to continue. Yeah, I think the first half performance that showed attack being the best form of defence. If they're in the face of the opposition that much, then there's little they can do in return. And I'm, I'm not sure how long they can keep the intensity and the tempo up, but it's certainly paid off so far.
Argentina pretty much out of sight here. It really has been a one-sided game so far. And we're already back on the way here. Fernandez producing a good steal there, showing a good level of alertness. Argentina get it back again. Raul. Corona has been caught there, it's a foul. Araujo. He's away. He's through, it's one on one. He's had a shot. And that has faded wide. Well, talking about a man on a mission, that was a super effort. Alvarez. A win here so important to their ambitions. Now it's Jimenez. Romero. Yeah, just noticing now about that defensive line and how much it's dropping. It's too deep for me. And why do you think that would be? Well, it's an obvious move to prevent the opposition from exploiting the space that was usable. Well, he's certainly caught him there. It's a free kick. Corona. Herrera. De Paul shifted out to the wing. De Paul. Messi is on the end of some really unwanted attention. Well, they've been over generous up to this point, I would say, so that had to happen. Well, the crowd clearly like. Oh, he's caught him there. It's a free kick. Now it's Jimenez. Correa, two goals to his name already. Good defending there. They've slammed the door in the faces of the opposition. Herrera. Now it's Corona. And it's Messi. And here's Alvarez, Correa. Good take, Alvarez! It's a goal! And this is getting ridiculous. Borderline crazy. Look, all they want to hear right now is the final whistle. They've been humiliated. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. Fernandez being reported off here, having made a sizable contribution. Look, he can only give your all, and he's delivered in that regard. And I think the manager has probably just spotted now a little tiredness creeping in. And, you know, if that's the case, then, you know, it's Alvarez! And he's kept it out. That's a great save. Argentina making consecutive changes here. He got amongst the goals here and now gets his head to it. Oh, almost a six. But there's going to be another change here. And that's that. 
Argentina have made it. Progress to the knockout stage confirmed. On to the business end. No mistake, a perfect two wins out of two, and they appear set fair. Thoughts on what we've just seen? Well, it's a group campaign with significantly more ups than downs for me, and a big step achieved to take the pressure off for what remains. They're in a great position now. Oke, itu dia hasil dari pertandingan Piala Dunia ya di Liga Grup Cesar Argentina melawan musim kayak gimana? Argentina berhasil menekan lagi ke skor 5-0 dan dengan itu Argentina jadi akan lolos ke babak 16 besar sesuai dengan sistem yang ada di Piala Dunia 2022. Semua pertandingan itu digelar dengan single match tidak ada home atau away jadi itu random gitu ya jadi sistem di World Cup di Piala Dunia Qatar kali ini ya. oke selamat buat Argentina berhasil menjuarai grup C ya dan kita akan lihat dulu bagaimana tinggal selanjutnya antara Polandia melawan Saudi Arabia dan di sini Joao Korea mendapatkan match of the match in ranking 8.0 ini dia hasil di perdingan ya oke okay, tidak teman lagi ya ini dia kalian bisa pause ya dan ini kita memimpin grup C dengan 6 poin 9 gol Polandia dengan 4 gol kemudian kita mulai dari A Belanda dan Qatar saya kaget loh Qatar bisa masuk ke runner up grup A loh. luar biasa masih mengalahkan Senegal nih pastinya di sini tidak kaget Inggris dan United States alias Amerika USA berhasil ya lolos ke babak 16 besar kemudian grup D Denmark dan France Prancis Jerman dan Spanyol Belgia dan Kanada sayang sekali Kroasia gagal masuk Brazil dengan Swiss dan Uruguay memimpin di belakangnya ada Portugal cukup mengagetkan juga oke dan pertandingan berikutnya <tuh> kita akan melawan Polandia Oke okay, sampai sini aja dulu untuk video kita jangan lupa like dan subscribe next video ini bakal menjadi pertandingan yang cukup menentukan ya apakah Polandia tetap lolos atau Argentina atau Polandia justru dikusur oleh tim-tim di bawahnya mungkin Meksiko ataupun Saudi Arabia kita nggak tahu ya ya sudah sampai jumpa di video and goodbye